Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I've done this look for you all. I've been using a few new products I haven't tried before. I don't know how to get this look. Make sure you carry on watching, like and subscribe. <laughs> okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do um, is prime my face with the Benefit Professional, which is literally what I do every single time I put on my makeup. I either use this one or the MAC Matte of Buying Primer. Okay, so for foundation today, I'm going to use the Estee Lauder um, Double Wear Stay In Place All Day Foundation in the shade Shell Beige. Um, I haven't actually used this one yet, so let me see if this is matching my skin tone. Because I usually use the shade Tawny. So, yeah, we'll see how that goes. I'm going to take it with a beauty blender from the back of my hand, and I'm just going to go in and put it all over my face. Okay, this looks a little, a little bit dark. Right, so to line up a bit, I'm going to use the shade 5 from the De Urban Decay All Nighter range. And just mix that together on the back of my hand to create the right shade. Might even use a brush actually, just to mix it all together. So I'm just going to take the excess from the back of my hand and I'm just going to go in and pat it in. So for concealer, I'm going to use... I think I'm going to go in with the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I'm just going to take a flat concealer brush and put it straight onto there. I'm just gonna paint that one there. Ooh. Just gonna paint a little triangle. That's quite a lot, but fuck it. Again, beauty blender, blend it out. That's all blended in seamlessly. I'm going to take my Laura Mercier powder and my beauty blender and I'm going to bake under my eyes and my forehead. So whilst I'm cooking, I'm going to do my eyebrows and I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in shade Dark Brown. I comb out the brows. Oh my god! <laughs> this is why I don't like looking into my camera when I do it because I'm just doing it. My eyebrow be up here. So now that I've filled them in with the pomade, I'm going to just comb through them again, making sure this is how I want them to stay. Then I'm going to take the Benefit Gimme Brow in shade 3. I found a big one, like I didn't know I had a big one, I've always been using the mini ones, but I have a full size one here and I was like, where did that come from? Okay, so then I'm just going to... I really like this product, it literally just... You can, like, sometimes I don't even fill my brows with the pomade. I just fill them in with this because it's pigmented and makes your brows stay on all day. With the flat concealer brush we already used and a little bit more of the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, I'm just going to take a little bit of that and I'm just going to clean up our brows. And then with this little mini beauty blender, we're just going to blend that out. And then one last comb through. Now we have eyebrows. So, um, whilst my face is still baking, I'm going to go in with my eyeshadow. So today I'm going to be using 
the Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette and the Carly Bible Palette. Um, the Carly Bible Palette, which is this one from BH Cosmetics. Um, I have only used this once and I was in such a rush and I literally rushed my makeup so much that I don't know if I liked it or not. So I'm going to be trying this out today. Um, from what I can see, this is what this palette looks like. Like literally, it's like brand new. So this is what the palette looks like. These are highlighting shades and then these are all of the eyeshadows. Um, it's really nice, but there's not, um, not that many transition shades. So that's why I'm going to be using the Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of my Hello Flawless Powder by Benefit and I'm just going to powder down my eyes. Just so they're nice and matte. Well, whilst I'm at it, actually, I'm just gonna set the rest of my face. So I'm just gonna... The Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette, and I'm gonna go in with this shade here, which is called Peanut Butter, and I'm just gonna use that as, as my transition shade. So I'm gonna take it on this small little blending brush, and I'm just gonna go ahead and put that all in the crease. So now we've got our transition shade down. I'm going to go in with the Carly Bible Palette by BH Cosmetic. So I'm just going to take this, uh, this big fluffy brush and I'm going to go in with this shade. And I'm just going to tap off the excess and I'm just going to run that through where we put that crease colour. And then I'm going to be using the shade next to it, which is this one here. And I'm just going to go in and darken it up a little bit. This is kind of like a purpley look. Like I didn't really know what I was going for until I kind of like opened the palette just to see what I could do with it. So I'm just going to put this in my outer corner. Now that I've darkened that up a little bit with that purpley colour, I'm going to go in one of the shimmery shades. So I'm going to take a flat brush and I'm just going to spray a little bit of setting spray onto it so it holds onto it. And then I'm going to be taking this shade here and I'm just going to be putting that all over my lid. This is literally so pretty, this colour, I really like it. So now we've got that glitter on, I'm just going to go back in with this first transition shade and I'm just going to run over the top of it so it's not up too far. So after I've applied some mascara quickly to my top layer of lashes, I'm going to go in with this black um, eyeliner and this one's from Chanel. I'm just going to go in and do my lower lash line with that. So for the lower lash line, I'm just going to go back in with this first transition shade and I'm going to put that underneath my lashes. And then moving on to that second shade. I'm going to contour the rest of my face quickly with the Hoola Benefit Bronzer Powder. And this brush is a NYX contouring brush. A bit more glow to the face. I'm going to go in with the MAC Gold Deposit and I'm just going to put that just above where I was contouring. Okay, so I've just added some fake eyelashes and done my lower lash line um, with mascara. So now I'm going to go in with this Rimmel London 
Oh no, it's a nice L'Oreal Paris. So I'm going to go in with this L'Oreal Paris um, Lip Liner Couture. Very nice. Um, what shade is this? Oh god, I don't know. I don't speak French, so I'm just going to... That is completely different to what I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be like a lot darker. Okay, moving swiftly on. So, oh my god, I thought I bought a used one then. I was going to say, bitch. Okay, so I'm trying out today of this uh, Rimmel London <clears throat> matte lipstick. I never wear lipsticks. I always just stick to the NYX ones because they're cheap, they're cheerful, and I like the way they look. But I'm going to try this one. It's from the Kate Moss range. And it's supposed to be matte. Like, does it dry matte? Like, is this even matte? I don't like wearing lipsticks because they just fucking go all over my teeth and that's not cute. Highlighter, I'm gonna go back into the Carly Bible palette and I'm gonna use. Which one am I gonna use? I don't know which one I'm gonna use actually. These arms are. Like... Very pretty. And with the setting spray from NYX, I'm just gonna do a little... <laughs> oh god, I fucking soaked it. It's all right, it's fine, I can just dry that. Dry it off a bit. So I'm gonna use these two, I think. They both look really pretty. My brush is soaking wet. Like, can you not? Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Maybe it's the light, maybe it's the light, maybe, no. No, this is so nice, oh my God. That is so finding. Okay, so this is the finished look for today. I actually, like how it turned out like i thought it was just gonna be awful but my, my products came through like it came through this highlighter i'm so impressed with this highlighter like honestly it's my new favorite i'm not loving the lips that much we'll have to wait and see if they dry them out i can't have to wait enough 10 minutes so yeah i'm really liking how this turned out if you guys want to like and subscribe to my channel um if you want to check out my last video it's here i will see you guys in my next video thanks for watching bye <laughs>